All right, what up, good people? It's your boy. We're back again, back here at the bike. And with this K&N filter, we're about to remove it. Remove it? What are you talking about, man? You just put it on. I know, I know, I know. However, comma, I think we have a better solution for what we want to do. So, basically what we're going to do is go with a big sucker of an air filter. Let's go. So as you have probably guessed by now, we are replacing the air filter. So we did just put the can in on there. Uh, I believe it is probably more airflow, but not the maximum airflow. I mean, for Christ's sake, we have a tuner now. Right here. Speaking of a tuner, well, let me go one step at a time. So we're about to install the Arlen Ness uh, Big Sucker on the bike. Y'all probably seen the unboxing video already. Um, that goes more into detail. Uh, we do also have the Power Vision Tuner. So, the Power Vision Tuner, I found this uh, mount. It's a RAM mount. I put the link down in the description. So, if you're trying to find a way to link or mount this, like on your handlebars, so when you auto tune, you can see or whatever, then you can do that. Uh, there's also, I think, a way where you can, uh, there's like a little thing where it kind of snaps over to keep sun off of it so you can see I think it's like 25 bucks I'm gonna go ahead and order that one today as well and hopefully I'll have it by the end of the week so yeah matter of fact let me go make sure I get that order in uh, before we start this video but this way now I can mount this up on the handlebars and then you know not have to worry about it seeing <clears throat> I mean, once I get it dialed in, there's no real reason I have it on there. However, comma, uh, yeah. So let me uh, pop this air filter out. Go make sure I get this order in, and then uh, yeah, we'll take up, we'll pick up from there. We'll pick up from there. Alright, so I'm gonna try to try to bring y'all along for the ride, but we kind of just let me see what you can see. Alright, so basically the instructions on this is not the greatest. Uh, I did watch a couple videos. I did watch a couple videos on this being installed. So It's not rocket science, but like I said, it's better videos to have definitely been made. So basically right now all I'm doing is just taking off taking off the old air box. Um, of course, it's the one outer screw, the three for the filter, and then there is this, which looks to be an 11 millimeter. That bad boy was in there. And that's, I mean, that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, it's, it's not that it's not supposed to be, more than likely. Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna have to use lock more than you like it. We're gonna use lock tight when we put it back together. Yeah, these are just a little, little bolts that go in or the oil bypass or whatever is coming through. Once I pull off the old oven, the whole air box. I can honestly say that I really never smelled anything um, before now. I did not smell it. I smell the, the fumes. So yeah, so that's gonna be the stock air box which we're not gonna be using anymore. Uh, it comes off. So I'm gonna put those two down off in there along with that. So when it's all said and done, the only thing from the stock setup that would still be there would be uh, what you call the only thing there from the stock setup would be uh, so yeah I wanted to buy the hex big kits like with the little storage rack so that I, when I did run into stuff like this, it was made simpler. Right. So you gotta see this size we're looking at. So we got a five. Sounds about right. We are gonna go ahead and put the extension in there so we can have a little bit more leverage, but we're not right there up on the top five. So this is basically taking off the bracket above. bag of hardware here. Alright, so there's this little RMS cover, which um, in the video that I've seen, it goes right across here. Why? I don't know. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like it was kind of funny. Who am I? What do I do? Nothing. So there are okay, those three screws. Those screws. So these two screws, we're gonna get our get our Loctite. 
here going in, everything gets locked tight. Everything gets locked tight. Let me see if I can, if I can probably better see. Everything is going to get locked tight. I guess first we'll make sure that's the right size. And then we'll make sure this works. Because you definitely don't want nothing shaking apart, falling into the engine, throttle body, nothing like that. Three locker, keep it on dick. Just a dab. You ain't gotta do it over to you. Probably especially on this one, but like I said, it's just better safe than sorry. Now we got the little Arlen Ness cover on there, as you can see. Now, the next step. Now, I wish I had brought them down. Uh, what's the name over here so I can show y'all? And them directions. Matter of fact, let me go get them. All right, so this is what the directions look like, black and white. Uh, begin by removing the cleaner, apply blue Loctite to three, thread the hole of the reservoir, and gasket mount with the three screws, blah, 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 blah. Remove the throttle body support bracket, replace with throttle body support bracket cover, which is what we've done. Clean the flange on the throttle body as well as the bosses on the cylinder heads. Okay. And using the rubber gasket supply for the thin cut of grease on the face of the throttle body to hold it in place during assembly. Note if your electric motorcycle is equipped with electronic baffle in the OEM airbox, unplug the solenoid and wire and tie it to a secure location on the motorcycle where it will not interfere with anything. Alright, so. That is. And when I was double checking to make sure that I had everything. So, boom, let me show you, let me show you the backing plate. Now the backing plate is beautiful, like that is, that is like beautiful. Even though you'll probably never see this shit again, like that is fucking beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
Uh, so that's gonna mount like that. So it's gonna go boom, boom. Boom. Right there. It does show there are two places where the gases go right there. Which is gonna seal up between those two maiden surfaces so that the oil isn't leaking anywhere else. So let me get those out and installed. So two gaskets there, backside, boom and boom. It does say use a little bit of grease to kind of keep you in place. So let me grab a little bit of grease so that we keep it in place. I'm telling you, I'll be having stuff everywhere. So we're gonna use a little bit of grease. So the direction said, uh, using the rubber cover gasket as a and then cover grease on the face of the throttle body, hold it in place during assembly. Note if your motorcycle is equipped, unplug the solar knob and wire inside to Okay. to apply grease to make sure that this gasket is going to line up and be where it's supposed to be so that it can seal the way it needs to seal going forward so I would probably try to do this a different way. And you know, time will tell if this is actually gonna work. But... So I pretty much just put four, four dabs of grease around the area. And I'm gonna take this and boom. Held in place, just like that. Bingo, bango. Presto tango. So now we take the chrome backing plate, which is here, and we are going to take to split these boys up so we know what goes where. So I know that there are three. So before we just run them in, we we'll just make sure that the thread pitch is the same. These, so these are gonna be for those three around the throttle body. And 
again, I'm pretty sure we used three or for that filter there. So up, up with lay throttle body. With lay throttle body. Let me also go ahead and get whatever size socket or okay. So that's gonna be a five. That way I can go ahead and kind of just thread them in there or spin them in as they get into position. So now we're just trying to loose, loosely have everything there. And then, so these two here are going to go inside of, or on the back side there. Uh, one thing that we did forget to do is install the filter or the the vent tubes. Now in the direction the vent tubes will have you looking for something that actually looks like a vent tube but in reality they are just these here. Little small black vent tubes. These go on the inside of the plate. pressed onto the inside of the back and plate like so to where they are pointing back into the throttle body. You know who made it. I'm gonna have to find the Give me a sec, let me get my shit together. Cut. All right, so welcome back as I am tightening down uh, breather screws. Uh, everything has been locked tighted. So, now everything should Locked into position, no pun intended. I don't know, this is supposed to be like eight to ten foot pounds. I'm pretty sure that's close to it anyway. Jump back over to the five. And I know it's not that much on these little ones here. Like I say with the with the lock tight, it shouldn't that shouldn't be the issue. Um, so just <clears throat> make sure. 
sure that. Like I said, man, this chrome back seat is just so nice. You don't even want to do nothing on it, man. I'm serious. So right here on the outside, you notice there is this little reservoir plate thing. This little area right here. Let me see if I can zoom in where you can see it. So there is this small gasket and a couple screws that go there. So we'll go ahead and get those started. Looks like these are gonna be Phillips. Very small Phillips. Start them in there and then back them out one at a time and get them all the way. Get them all threaded in. Loctite is our best friend, people. It's going to keep shit from going left. <laughs> it should be going right. trying to make sure I had one that was the right size. All right. So this how we gonna do that there. Dab. And screw. So that takes care of that. I feel like you forgot one thing. And it has to do with those other two gaskets. So 
Solid 2 Ben 2, shown in picture, obtained an MA, back in plate and place his platter with rings on the backside. Using grease to keep them in place, obtained the stage. One back in plate and place to supply all rings in the groove on the back side using the ball. Insert three screws into the back of plate. Plate with small drop of Loctite. Use the screws to locate and hold the intake gasket in place. If your kits include blah blah blah. Right. Loosely install the back of plate using the three screws. Install the remaining two O rings into the grooves on the front side. Bag it up a step, bag it up a step. there with a gasket on the front side for the o-ring set that right there And then just to be sure we want to add a little bit more Loctite on there and make sure we going back secure like we need to be. back over here back this one out and start it over here on there just last thing you want to do after you get it back together and you roll is to have to tear it back apart it's better that you catch it now than catch it or, you know. all right so we are back now this is the big sucker filter on that now I just want to do a side-by-side -side comparison uh, with the other two. So, as you can see here, this one was getting close. Actually, let me zoom it out. So with this one, big sucker. Then you got the in which, although it was bigger than the stock one is still kind of made it look human. And then you have your stock filter. So each time you are going up more in added air. And she's gonna breathe. She doesn't gonna breathe. And this will complete our stage one uh, on this bike. So as we just 
We just bought this can and one of these motherfuckers going back to the state. Back where you came from. Cause that was like a $50 filter. Off gate. <clears throat> but I didn't want to pull it off until we actually had this other one installed. So please believe no money was wasted during the making of these videos. I don't play that. So gotta go back. And so now, we zoom back in, we're going to take our big bubble breather filter there. Look, look at that. That shit is money. A lot of people do the aftermarket big circle. And man, honestly, like, I like the way that it looks. I honestly don't want to give up the badge uh, saying that it's a 107 and everything like that, so. Now hang with me, we're almost there. So, we got the last couple steps. Last couple steps here, so we got this plate, which is gonna go over the filter. And then, of course, you can't say Harley without Loctite. Can't say Harley without Loctite, so we're gonna take Loctite here, Loctite here. We're gonna go ahead and start these two ones. So the two longer boats going to the front. And then the shorter bolts will go to the back. I want to say that those are also five. They are. They are, they are, they are. back ones put in. The last bolt is the short one. It is going to go to the back. Get that one in there. Like I said, everything will lock tight. We don't have no accidents. everything down like that and the last step or the last piece of this so pretty much the only thing you're going to use out of the original was or is uh, the, the original bolt that holds the 107 cover to the outside there's also a spacer that comes in the package somewhere here. Stand by while we reassess the case. Spacer, I believe, is to where you have a little bit more room 
but you are now exposed and have air all the way around you, from the front to the back. So it is truly a big sucker. Sucker, motherfucker! Uh, and as soon as I find that space, I'm gonna, I'll pop it on there, but I'm not gonna let it hold up the video. I'm trying to take this thing for a spin real quick tonight. Sucker Air Queen, um, stock 107, uh, stage one is now complete. So, thank y'all for riding with your boy, as y'all know, or if you're new to the channel, man, all of this is new to me. So, I'm just taking y'all along for the journey uh, as we learn about our heart and do a lot of this stuff ourselves and save some money in the process. That's going to be a wrap. Make sure y'all tune in for the next video. Yeah. Oh, now this video too long already. Next video we, is the vlog with the new air cleaner. Let's see if we feel any difference. Yeah.